If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. Look at his face here. It's probably how he fucking cries at home alone. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Girls think he's a massive pussy. Girls think he's a loser. Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> you! I cannot be bought! And then you dumbasses, three years later, be some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again! Real talk. <laughs> What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Super excited for this reaction. Someone sent it to me and they said, do not watch this. Make sure you react to it on your first watch. It's super hilarious. That's how I usually do with these clips anyways. I never spend the fucking time to watch them in advance. Rare occasions if it's like super breaking news or some shit like that. The title, Myron Rant Breaks TV and Glass. <laughs> so you can only imagine what we have in store for us today. Okay, we've seen him melt down and get emotional and be like, you guys don't fucking play. Did you not hear the other girls describe the same fucking thing you described? <laughs> so you Someone else fucking some retarded? Different. Looking like a fucking teenage girl PMSing. So let's jump right in and watch Mr. Alpha, Myron Gaines, aka Amru Foodle, aka Frank Castle, <laughs> in his little rant breaking shit. Keep in mind this guy's a giant pussy. He does fucking piss me off. When the, when the Andrew Tate allegations came out, Fucking pissed me off. Hey, that pissed me off. Uh, you know, it makes no difference that lots of girls filed police reports for physical violence and rape. And it turns out after the fact that the fucking Crown Prosecution Service dropped the ball, even though they allegedly had enough evidence from the police to prosecute. They didn't want to be bothered. That pissed off Myron Gaines that they could be dissing on his boy Tate like that. Okay, all that happened, mind you, like many years before the rise to fucking fame and, and money. Um, oh, when shit. people talk shit about Fresh, gets me fucking mad. When, pe when people say that Fresh can be replaced with a mannequin in a trash bag, that gets me fucking mad, bro. We'll talk shit about Sneeko, etc. If you're my friend... <laughs> Sneeko has a 90 IQ. If you get mad when people talk shit about the convicted rape... <laughs> the fucking rapist Charleston White that they hang out with. Charleston White was like, We used to put crack in the cigarettes of white girls. And he's like, They say stop. We keep going. And it's like, okay, this guy's admitting to fucking drugging and raping girls on YouTube. And Myron and Fresh are like, oh shit, bro. Oh. And Myron's like, hey, if you don't like my friends, then we got a problem. You're my friend. I'm with you. His friends are all fucking scumbags. Okay, that's the problem. Modern Life Dating smashed a bottle over a girl's face in Japan and scarred the girl's face. He had a text that came out leaked saying, allegedly, that he looks forward to the days of sipping a latte while he's walking through the streets and girls are being open raped these are all his friends but hey don't say anything bad about all his friends guys regardless of whether sartain who's a fucking massive fraud and liar rollo tomasi who's scamming the fuck out of everybody these are all his friends look at his face here <laughs> that's what it would, that's what his skin would do if he got a nice uppercut in the jaw it's convenient or not you fucking pussies in the chat that's so you, you you pussies in the chat you gotta be more like me. Non-reactive and non-emotional. Let's, let's watch him break shit. Eric, you're loyal to a fault. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That does not exist in my fucking vocabulary. Take note, everyone. This is how a bitch-ass pussy acts. Very loyal to a fault. Because you're loyal regardless. The whole definition of loyal is being loyal and sticking by somebody. Regardless of if they rape people, regardless of if they drug people, regardless of if they make NFTs, regardless of if they lie and scam, Myron believes in loyalty and allying with massive scumbag pieces of shit, okay? And not backing down the more and more and more and more horrific things that come out about these people. Staying loyal to them, that's it. He's gonna make this into some kind of fucking virtue signaling now. Oh yeah, man, I stand by all my scumbag piece of shit friends and I'll go down to the death supporting those guys because I got loyalty. You guys should learn something. No, motherfucker. All your friends are fucking liars, frauds, scumbags, scammers, criminals doing horrible, horrible, horrible shit. Gives me endless content. There's no glory that you're loyally supporting all the biggest pieces of shit in the whole fucking space. It's convenient or not to fucking be there. I don't believe in this term loyal to a fault. Okay? And if the fault is death, then guess what? I die with a fucking spine. A lot of you motherfuckers are just- There's no spine or merit defending massive pieces of shit. And his friends are going down one by one. Jay Waller has been banned off YouTube. Modern Life Dating is facing criminal allegations and civil allegations due to his behavior. Who else? 
We've got fucking Charleston White running around talking about being a rapist. Karma comes back tenfold on these people. Hey, look at Andrew Tate. He's now facing charges in Romania. And after that's done, he's facing charges in the UK. And Myron thinks he's this, this little poster child of a, a nice guy, okay, even though there's <laughs> endless amounts of evidence on camera of Tate objectively being horrible. Before we continue and see him break a fucking TV in glass, get on a free 30 minute call with the link in the description if you need help with dating. We have over 1,250 testimonials. We can get you very good, very fast, help you find your dream girl, help you start getting dates starting this week. Holy fish, no fucking spine. And that Oh, here we go. When he starts shouting and bitching like a little girl, that's when you know he's upset. That's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, fucking dorks with no money and no one fucking respect. You're a fucking dork. This, this is so funny. This is like a little nerd rage quitting here. Watch. Because you motherfuckers don't. <laughs> Look at his mug down here. Punish your mug. This little fucking dork as he melts down here on stream is embarrassing the fuck out of himself. Keep in mind, this dumb fuck came to me for coaching advice in 2019. Okay, we can pop up that email. I love showing this. He says, my current circle has no clue what they're doing. Okay, he came to seek out dating advice from a real expert. Okay, what a concept. And now here he is melting down on camera when he has all this stupid popularity from making a Jerry Springer fucking copycat show. Just disrespecting the guests and kicking them out. Now he's going to tell you all that A, you should be loyal to the death to the biggest piece of shit on earth, which is what he demonstrates. Okay, and number two, y'all are fucking dorks and nerds and you need to be cool like Myron the Punisher. Sure. So write that down. For nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. Okay? It is what it is, you motherfuckers. Oh, shit. It's getting... Let's watch him being a bitch in slow motion. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. <laughs> Look at his face here. It's probably how he fucking cries at home alone. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Jakey, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave. I got 20 fucking real estate properties so I can tell motherfuckers, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Worth is over six fucking million. I get money residually. I don't fucking need to do this shit and I don't need to fucking sell my soul. I okay, so now the argument is since he made a bunch of money, okay, from retards giving him super chats <laughs> and from only girl, only fans girls, okay, giving him commissions to come on the show and selling fucking nonsensical dating advice. Since he scammed all of you and he's loyal to the death with complete pieces of shit, criminals, rapists, guys that are drugging girls, guys that are trafficking girls, allegedly, hey, guys that are breaking bottles over girls' faces. He's loyal to all those guys. Aren't you guys seeing? Aren't you guys learning? And he has money, which makes him cool and not a pussy, just so you know, and not a dork, just so you know, okay? Just because he has a bunch of money and net worth, that automatically makes him cool and in the know as he's demonstrating for everyone right here. Look at his face. Looks like he's fucking pushing out fucking shit that Fresh knocked in through his back door, impacting his... <laughs> Can't even fucking get it out. All right, let's see him break shit. Damn with my fucking friends, period, <laughs> all right? Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn, you jellyfish SpongeBob in the fuck. <laughs> Now he's calling people a jellyfish SpongeBob. Wow, this is a great clip. Keep in mind, this is not at all how an alpha male acts. This is not at all how a guy of high value acts. This is not at all how a guy that gets chicks acts. This is not at all how a guy who leads men acts. This is how a giant, and I cannot stress that enough, giant pussy bitch acts. Make no mistake about it. Don't listen to these dumb words he's saying about being loyal to all these criminals and scumbags. Just look at what a big pussy he is. He's demonstrating it for everyone on camera. This is not the Punisher, okay? This is the dramatic foil, which means the direct contrary of the Punisher. This is a giant pussy melting down. In pineapple house, pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers are, bro. You gotta be hard like Myron Gaines, bro. Ridiculous. You motherfuckers <laughs> haven't stepped in a gym in three weeks trying to tell me. This is a guy that challenges Abu and Preach to a fight, and when it gets accepted, runs away and goes radio silent. This is a guy when the big dork, questionably gay, Ayende from Authentic Alphas, arrives to his door wanting to fight, pulls a gun. This is the kind of fucking pussy ass bitch. I've been preached at a whole video where he's like, hey, what now, what now? And he goes after people once they're already like, <laughs> fully walked off. And I, again, you're missing the context there. But he's d demonstrated countless times that he's a massive pussy. Girls think he's a massive pussy. Girls think he's a loser. Who fucking cares that he scams some idiots and has some money now? That's irrelevant. Who fucking cares 
Okay, that he's getting some views here, trying to send an alpha message. This is about as fucking pussified as it gets. How to fucking be loved <laughs> to my fucking friends. I'm not going anywhere. All right? I'm tired of you motherfuckers. Leave your friends. <laughs> He's not going anywhere, says the fucking guy that imitates basically mimicking monkeys to make fun of black people. That's something he did. Wearing a clan hat. Unfortunately, he can't show that stuff. Doing hell, Hitler, all this fucking nonsense. That's how a real man behaves. That's how a cool guy with a net worth and a bunch of properties behaves. Okay, everybody take note. Look at him fucking performing on stage here. Hey, friends, he's all you do. He's all you do. Well, fuck you. All right? <laughs> People in the chat are like, Myron's going crazy. This is just him showing his true colors. I've made countless videos mocking him, showing everyone. This is one of the biggest beta pussy nerd dork losers on the whole internet. He thinks he's the coolest. <laughs> and that makes it a hundred times funnier. This is an example of one of the biggest fucking losers of all time trying to be cool and trying to act like he's the man. Watch this. I don't need to make a fucking <laughs> set off this fucking podcast. I'm fine. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me. In case anybody's wondering, I'm perfectly fine. And my real estate will take care of me. Who cares? Scamming a bunch of people for money, pretending to be a dating expert. Okay, you're getting super chats because people like to see you make fun of OnlyFans hood rat trash. Doesn't make you cool. Doesn't make you some like fucking bare minimum like, oh, okay, he's a man of value or acceptance because he has real estate prop. Who fucking cares? There's plenty of scammers out there. Look at Ty Lopez in your circle who fucking helped Michael Sartain make his course. Good butt buddies with Owen Cook, probably quite literally. Buddies with you guys. That guy made a bunch of money scamming. Who cares? That doesn't make him cool. Just because you made a bunch of money scamming doesn't change the fact that you're a pussy ass bitch. The end. Okay, watch a pussy ass bitch in his true habitat here. I knew that if I want to say what the fuck I want to say and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and build. build this motherfucker needs anger management classes. Digital income coming in every fucking month so I can sit. Somebody get Myron a tampon. Got a little cleanup on I 11 here. Again, get on a free 30 minute call. We can help you. Okay, we have cheap products or do it yourself. We have an eight week mentorship program. We have three day live boot camps. I am actually a real expert that this stupid fuck came to for help because he knows I'm the best guy in the space. And I told him to go fuck himself. He actually tried to be my business partner too. <laughs> I said, leave me the fuck alone. And I blocked him. And thank God, again, I wouldn't fucking partner with this guy for any amount of money. If they were like, hey, just so you know, this guy's gonna blow up and get a lot of views and money. Absolutely fuck not still. Okay, this guy's a total fucking dork. Here, and tell you fucking hairs, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna say what the fuck I wanna say, and I'm gonna fuck with anybody. Yeah, on Rumble you are, because they're gonna fucking cancel you on YouTube, because you're completely retarded and moronic in every sense of those words. They gotta say, I cannot be bought. <laughs> I have my soul, I have my spine. I Just so you know, guys. He cannot be bought. He has his soul in his spine. So he'll go down to the death defending rapists, criminals, traffickers, guys that smash bottles over girls' faces, guys that want to see girls raped in the streets, guys that are ripping off people and making them suicidal and depressive and all this stuff. He stands by all those and he has his spine and balls intact, don't you know? Because he says so in his little bitch rage quit fit. I got my integrity. I got my <laughs> ten toes in my... T Zero integrity. Okay, I just explained and I've shown in countless videos, he has zero fucking integrity, zero value. He's an embarrassment to himself. He's an embarrassment to mankind. Okay, not even just men. He's an embarrassment to the human race. Look at this. Look at this fucking pussy perform. And I fucking stand where the fuck I'm going to stand. And if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face because I can look in the fucking mirror. <laughs> Oh my god, this is much better than I thought it would be. And be happy with the man that I see, <laughs> you pussy mother- <laughs> Fuckers! Someone needs to get in the ring and beat the shit out of this guy. Can you imagine him being like, Come on, bro! Come on, I got my spine! I got my properties! And he goes, boom! Just fucking gets a hook. <laughs> <laughs> right to the jaw and they do a slow-mo cam and you see his face, his stupid volleyball fucking head. You fucking losers <laughs> that sit there and say, oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stand by the Do you stand by the Tate? Do you stand by the accused rapists and traffickers? The Tate, we got to take another screenshot. Don't you know, guys, he stands behind Sneeko, who has a very low IQ and supports white supremacists. He stands by Modern Life Dating, who's smashing bottles over girls' heads and wanting to see them raped in the streets. He's standing by Charleston White, who's drugging and raping girls. Okay, he's standing by Jay Waller, who's corrupting impressionable young men. He's standing by Rolo, who has an NFT. Are you seeing a pattern here? He supports all the biggest pieces of shit. All the criminals, all the scumbags. Those are all his boys. 
And all y'all better recognize and not say jack shit about it. Because who'll tell you that he's the man and you can obviously see he's the man by how he's acting so manly. And we still haven't gotten to the part where he breaks a glass in a TV. I'm excited. You still think they have a drive course versus the idiot? Why are you still there? Chris Trickster. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. That's why no one respects you motherfuckers. Because you don't stand for anything. <laughs> Look at Fresh. Fresh is like, uh, bro, I'm, I'm just trying to make that baby disappear, bro. <laughs> shut up, Fresh. You mean kill the baby? No, bro. You, you just take, she just takes the pill and it just goes away. It's not killing anything, bro. <laughs> Alright, bro, I <laughs> bro. Alright, bro, I support you to the death. <laughs> if there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. <laughs> how hard he's breathing. We've been through hell together. <laughs> we had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People will fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People may <laughs> That's cause you guys are fucking clowns. Everyone is laughing at you, not with you, because you're clowns. You are nonstop entertainment. Two little fucking nerds, a customer service representative, and a fake fitness expert. Unplugged fit. Yeah, okay, Brandon Carter made you choose a niche because you're a dumb fuck that wanted to scam people. <laughs> oh, I'll choose fitness. Oh, suddenly I'm a fitness expert. Oh, uh, now I'm running the, the, the number one men's dating podcast with zero credentials. Uh, okay, buddy. That's how... Uh, <laughs> pretty easy to expose once you open your mouth. Allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us and you know who was around me the whole fucking time these fucking guys oh wow uh, all my all my criminal friends and all oh all, all my uh, all my piece of shit uh scumbag lowest of the low people they all were with me through it all yeah because all you fucking motherfuckers are corrupt together so you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say i'm not going <laughs> anywhere what does he want like a fucking grammy for this performance all right we're down to one minute where's the glass and tv breaking i'm gonna stand by the guys <laughs> that stand by me because you fucking pieces of shit are fucking there when i'm going through it you pieces of shit are fucking there when i'm fucking figuring out what the fuck i'm gonna do because we got demonetized you motherfuckers weren't there why did you get demonetized you wore a ku klux klan hat Reason one, you did hail Hitler. Reason two, you imitated monkeys mocking black people. Reason three, oh, you all don't know what I'm going through. You brought that upon yourself because you're a stupid fucking puss and you're demonstrating video after video. What a huge puss you are. And unfortunately, there's a lot of guys that don't know any better and don't realize that you're a huge puss loser and they look up to you because you perform on a stage. Okay, and that's a huge fucking problem for obvious reasons. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> it's like the epitome of how to act like the biggest pussy on the internet. Even Michael Sartain is being shamed here, and he's one of the biggest pussies. <laughs> when everyone in their fucking mind came at us, you motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking out. I love that he's He's like clipping the mic too. Like whenever Myron gets emotional and he needs a fucking tampon and his little pussy, <laughs> he's like screaming so hard into the mic that it's like clipping the shit out of it. Oh, we gotta get a screenshot here. Oh my god. This is fun. This is fun times. <laughs> Let's get a slow-mo of him breaking the Punisher mug, which is quite fitting, okay, because he's not the slightest bit. Like, if you watch the fucking actual Punisher, it's like this huge jack guy with like a very strong frame that actually acts like the man. Then you have a little bitch pussy who looks like he needs a tampon and a tissue. <laughs> he's like, oh, you motherfuckers don't understand how hot I am. Oh, I gotta... Let's watch Mr. Hard control his anger. <laughs> Isn't this fucking like how is he even allowed to do that on camera like this could be used against him right if he ever fucking hits a girl or something like that I'm sure he has look he has no control over himself look watch what he does He did it and then you dumbasses <laughs> three years later with some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again 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 <laughs> All right, we got 40 seconds. Where's the TV getting hit? You fucking idiots! <laughs> I'm not Listen to the sound of the glass sh <laughs> Now he's punishing the mugs. <laughs> not just the fucking hood rat trash. Going anywhere! <laughs> I'm standing right fucking here! 
Oh, you're not going anywhere, right? Until YouTube bans you. I'm sure that's right around the fucking corner. All your associates are all getting kicked off the platform. <laughs> all right? These guys were with me in my darkest times. I'm not going to fucking <laughs> leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. <laughs> I got my real estate. I got my money. I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. He's fine. Don't you know? He's got his money scammed from people, so he's fine. Can't you tell how fine he is? Look, he looks completely fine, right? Like 100% fine. <laughs> I can't be bought! What does that mean? Again, like if you take away all the fucking, like, uh, you know, tomfoolery and, and, and hustle bustle going around. <laughs> I know what term to use for this fucking nonsense. He's basically saying, hey, I'm going to stay loyal to all the biggest scumbag criminals in the entire space, even in the larger internet, and nobody can stop me. And I'm going to continue to be an ass clown and giant pussy and loser on camera. And uh, you, I can't be bought. Whatever that means. It's like, motherfucker, drop the drama down like a hundredfold, and you were acting like complete moron doing insane shit that was incredibly disrespectful and racist and anti Semitic, and you were banned accordingly. You're not some fucking hero that's being oppressed. They went on camera though, and they were like, oh, the Matrix is after us. It's like, shut the fuck up. Take some accountability for your retarded actions. All right, I just want to see him break the TV. We're in the final 20 seconds here. <laughs> that was real. <laughs> 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 the foghorn. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Look, you couldn't even write comedy better than this. Look at Fresh. That was real talk, everybody. Thanks, Fresh. Soundboard number three. The heart. Um. <laughs> Fresh is like, well, that's a tough act to follow, uh, but I'm going to be a dad soon, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I'll be Myron. <laughs> uh, you broke the glass. And maybe the TV. Okay, um, that was, uh... Well, good thing he's got six million net worth. He can buy another cup and TV pronto. Oh, my God. If you're a young man, okay, <laughs> deciding if you should fucking look up to these guys, please reevaluate that. If you're admiring him for his... <laughs> can't say admiring without Myron. <clears throat> That's where the word comes from, by the way. The, the term, in case people didn't know, Myron Gaines is like a meme. Okay, where someone's admiring someone's gains, like staring at someone that's aesthetically pleasing and muscular. Okay, he just made that his name, Myron Gaines. Now you know, his real name is Amru Foodle, aka Mr. Puss. If you thought like that was some Oscar winning performance, that was just a big pussy on his last rope melting down and cracking. Okay, that's a guy that's lost frame. <laughs> that's losing his mind. Okay, that obviously has no control over himself. And that's great that that clip is out there now because if he ever assaults a guy or a girl and, and he's in court being like, I didn't do it. I would never touch anybody. And then they show him like fucking rage quitting and smashing a glass. It's like, motherfucker, go to therapy. Don't go on the internet and can you look at all these YouTube plaques behind. It's time to fucking like shut down the act. Like it's been funny. Everybody's had a big laugh. Please YouTube ban these motherfuckers soon. Okay, that's all I ask. That being said, if you need help from a real dating expert, as we saw this stupid fuck reached out to a guy that actually knows what he's doing. Book a free 30 minute call with the link in the description. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Please, please add into the discussion. It's going to be quite hilarious. That was, you know, that was very entertaining. This is a Sunday night here. I just got back from the gym. My buddy was like, dude, you, <laughs> you fucking got to see this, but don't open it until you're reacting to it. I'm like, all right. And sure enough, it delivered the goods. Thank you, Myron Gaines, for, for brightening up my day yet again. I'm going to send this to Abba and Preach <laughs> after, I, after I get off the, off the mic here. Make sure you guys watch the video in the end screen where we'll show Myron being a bitch and melting down and rage quitting in, in another uh, instance. And there's plenty to choose from. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. And again, please see these guys for what they are. I mean, it's all funny and stuff like that. But these are two horrible role models, two horrible examples. There's no merit in them being loyal to all the biggest pieces of shit. Like I've gone into extensive detail. How many absolute pieces of shit they're supporting? It's a shame to ever support even one of those guys and they support all of them. And he's owning it and being like, oh, I'll, I'll be with these guys to the death. Good, maybe you can all go to jail together. Okay, that one can only hope. Okay, thank you everybody. I'm gonna go eat dinner. Everybody have a good night or afternoon, I should say. And I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out a cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smells like two chicks before noon.